feel a little emotional almost. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hello! Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, now Stompet has been online on YouTube for five years. And we're going to celebrate it by going shredding with Vincent. Maybe you recognize him from the five easy tricks video. <laughs> you want to try that then? First video to ever get a million views. How does that feel, Vinny? Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. So for you who have seen that video knows that Vinny got mad star, way more than me. So I'm going to try to keep up with him today. At the end of the video, I'm going to open the 100,000 subscribers, YouTube silver play button because I've been procrastinating on doing that for a year. So uh, let's do some uh, skiing, Vincent. You do this spin, the spin, and then yeah, spin from the, the straight, spin, the thing. and from backwards. And if we get this one. On, on the thing and the other thing. Yeah, yeah that'd be quite a yeah. birthday gift for ourselves if we land this close to each other. That was it. That was it. That was so good. Well, one of the f most fun filming days was probably shooting a five easy tricks video with you, Vinny. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was cool. I, uh, people have been calling me out for, yeah, faking it that we started with the handspring 180, but I really had a list of, yeah, what you guys called pretty lame tricks. Uh, and I really appreciate that you and Danny like crushed my list and removed at least more than half of it and replace it with your steezy tricks. Happy to help. <laughs> <laughs> Today I thought I'd show you five pretty easy tricks that's very cool. I like to call it handspring skiing. It's really great at the drop-in since it's pretty cool. Start something like this, go up, and up. Yeah, and that was super lame. No. 
That's pretty <laughs> cool. Super lame. What you should I do start then? your video like that. <laughs> you want to try that, Vince? I love strawberry cake. I have my grandma make it <clears throat> for most of my birthdays throughout my life. Stompet has decided what the wish is, but I can't tell you. What a breakfast. Mm. Let me tell you the story of Stompet Tutorials and how we got to this point. Back in Sweden, in Klutmarksback, uh, me and a couple of friends we started doing some freestyle coaching for the young local shredder. So we're pretty good, I gotta say. That was a lot of fun. I was about 17, 18 at the time trying to help them while I was also trying to become a good skier myself. I was competing some. And then we fast forward from about 2006 to 2010. I go to the Alps for the first time. Yeah, a long story short, I ended up here in Lox and um, I got dragged into the world of ski instructors. So I started working here in Lox that year, came back the next year. I was freaking sick. I had such a good time, learned a lot. And then in 2000 and 12, no, maybe 11, I was sitting on a balcony here thinking about what I should do with my life and like what I'm good at, what I could see myself doing. And I kept coming back to like, I'm good at teaching skiing. I feel like this, I'm, I'm pretty good at it, like freestyle skiing to be specific. I thought maybe I could do the videos, maybe I could sell the online courses, etc. But I was quite scared of trying it because I had no idea if that could be done. But then I decide, no, let's try it. Let's make some videos, make a website, see if I could, you know, sell my knowledge, sort of. So then I come here to Lox and um, to work in the ski school and film my first tutorials in beginning of 2013. I edit all year, start making a website. Everything is almost done by November. And I'm like, oh, this is shit. Because I didn't know how to make videos or cuts or anything. So it didn't turn out so good. So I decided to control alt delete it or just delete it. Come back, refilm everything with my friend Benny and Philip. They were so kind to drive four or five hours to come and help me. And now I had enough uh, content to make my first online course and my first tutorial, which was like how to cook 720. And January 15th of 2015, I post how to cork 720. Oh, I was so nervous. My dear friend Ian comes by with tiny bottles of champagne to celebrate that I finally put it online like two years in. And um, that year doesn't go so well. I had a couple of thousand views, basically on 500 subscribers, I think, by the end of the year. Um, and made virtually no money. So I was a little heartbroken and, and broke as well. So I moved from Lox to Syria because I got a girlfriend here. Well, I work like 36 hours on Mondays and Tuesdays. I work from 8 in the morning to midnight and then 8 in the morning to 3 in the morning. So I could then work on Stomp It like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Do a bit of biking on the weekend and repeat. It was a pretty intense year. I had my first sort of hit video. And the first 10 tricks on skis was doing pretty good. I had six, seven hundred thousand views in year one. It was enough to impress Lox. They joined as a sponsor. I was like, oh, that's cool. And I had to quit my job, but it was only enough money to stay here in Switzerland in the winter and then go home and stay with my mom, dad and brothers and etc. in the summer. And since then, we made a lot of tutorials and it's been an amazing journey where I got help with so many amazing friends. You know who you are. So here is a YouTube silver play button. I was so excited to get it. It was like the proudest thing I ever done, I'd say. And then once I got it, I was like, oh. I gotta be in the perfect mood for this. I feel like I'm in the perfect mood now. Things are going well. Birthday cake. Yeah, it's time to open it. I'm a little emotional again. <laughs> Opening this guy. Truthfully, I've never worked this hard at anything in my life. Possibly my own skiing, but that sort of adds to this. I have no idea how to, I've never seen a thing like this before, so quite excited. That's a bit of a disappointing first. <laughs> oh, another disappointing layer. <laughs> You've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. 
blah, blah, blah. I'll read that in detail later. Oh, look at that. That's cool, isn't it? It's probably my proudest belonging. I don't have that many things I really care about. Skis or tools and other things too, but this has taken many years to get, so happy about that. With this guy, so silver play button. I want to say thank you to all of you people who've been subscribing and watching, commenting and appreciating what we do. Also, I want to say thank you to you who've been a camp guest over the year, because the camp has really been key in uh, like pay for making all this tutorial and making it happen. And also to the sponsors that's been with me, like uh, Atomic, Smart Wool and uh, Larks. I'm going to keep trying to make good content that you guys appreciate and learn from. And here's a little montage of uh, some of the videos and the journey we've been, been doing for the last five years. Check it out. <laughs> Stop swelling! <laughs> <laughs> hey. How to do cork 720. First 10 tricks to learn on skis. How to do a front flip on skis. Nose butters in powder. Let's learn how to do butters on skis. How to do K-feds on skis. Hand drag on skis. Let's have a look at how to do C-rails. How to tail butter on skis. Like how to get the speed right, I thought I'd make a video on it. How to backflip like a gymnast. I thought I'm gonna show you how to lazy boy hand drag cork three. How to cork 360. Three different types of skis. How to surf video. How to backflip on skis. How to to drop on skis. The three most common mistakes when it comes to carving. Five easy tricks you can do anywhere on the mountain. How to crash. How to ski powder. Five fun tricks you can do in powder. 10 hacks for free ride skiers. So I made a video that I wish I saw before my first day of skiing. Today we're gonna to talk about ski boots. Do you wanna to learn to carve like that? I've got you the guy to teach you. Tips and tricks on how you can shoot better fall caps. Five easy tricks video. Six ski gear upgrades. Couple of tips on how you can have fun free riding. Ten ski hacks. Three most common mistakes. How to jump on skis. How to do anything with Andrea Gatley on skis. A few things about fear. How to do a minimum wax job. Common mistakes people do when doing parallel turns. To correct the three most common mistakes to make Roger into a skier. I hope you enjoyed that little look back and once again, thank you all and see you soon.